Hello, it's Joe with Uncle Joe Hikes. Wanted to do a real quick video on how to pack your pack. This is primarily for a friend of mine who asked about this, and I think somebody else uh, put a message up on YouTube to ask me about the same thing, how I pack. I'm not going to go into what's in this. I'm just going to tell you basically what's in each one of these piles, but just to give you an idea of how to pack your pack. One of the first things you're going to want to do is get you some kind of liner. You can use a trash bag, which is what I'm doing for demonstration, uh, but I recommend you get some uh, trash compactor liners because they're going to be a lot tighter uh, or a lot tougher <laughs> for you and uh, do a really good job. Your pack is not waterproof. It's water resistant, but it's not waterproof. So you're gonna, anything that you think might get wet, you're going to have to have waterproof. And just lining the inside with something like this and rolling the top up is a good way to do that. What I do is I just stuff that down on the bottom and just kind of leave, leave it open like this. The first thing I put in is going to be my sleeping bag. Now, I'm using my spring or my summer bag for this because it's going to compress the lowest. And what I'm going to do is just stuff it right into that bag and just stuff the whole thing down into my pack. I do not put this in a sleeping bag bag. So any kind of a um, uh, compression sack or anything like that because what you want is you want this thing to fill out the bottom. And it's going to go into the bottom and it's going to fill in nooks and crannies. And you just keep pushing down on that, be it down or synthetic. Down's going to obviously compress a lot better. It's going to fill in the bottom and all the crevices and kind of flare out, which is what you want. So that's going to go all the way in the bottom. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the heaviest stuff I have and put it up against my back. So for me, that's things like my uh, hammock in this case. We're going to do it again with the, um, with the tent. But for now, we're going to do this with the hammock. I would stuff that down in there at the bottom. Just kind of set that in. And what I want to do is kind of create a nice place for my back to be against. I don't want anything bulky or bulging that's going to jut me in the back. Next, I would put in my uh, ins uh, flash air pad. This is my sleeping pad. And I'm going to put that lengthwise like this in here. And this is my tarp. This will go over my hammock. I'm going to do the same thing for that. That's going to go right down over the uh, top of the air pad and up against my back. So that gives me a nice flat surface here of stuff. The lighter things are the things you're going to want in the back or the front. They call this actually the front of the pack this way. Heavier stuff against your back, lighter stuff here. So now is where I would probably take my clothes that I'm going to take. And I would put that toward the outside and just push that all the way down. And you'll see it start to fill out the pack here as I push down. So there it is right there. And I've compressed that as much as I can. There's still some cubby holes in there. I would take something like my straps for my hammock and find a nice place down the side right here that I can stuff that way down in there on top of my sleeping bag. If I have another one over here, I'll find something to go over there. So now I've got my clothes, I've got all of my sleeping stuff in here, and I can just keep on going up. Here I have, this is uh, my toiletries. This has got my trowel, a couple other things. I think there's a little towel in here, there's some uh, glide to go on if I start chafing. Things like that would go in this. I can just kind of maybe stuff that down the side. I'm not going to need that probably right away. So probably in the morning, is when I'm going to need that, so that can go to the bottom. That's another way to think of this. Things that you're not going to need until later or while you're hiking can go toward the bottom as well. That's why my sleeping bag's down there. Not going to need that until camp. Not going to need my sleeping system until camp. My hammock. Not shouldn't need my clothes until camp. Uh, maybe something I'm sleeping in, and then of course the clothes the next day. Next, I'm going to go with this is my utility bag. This has got all the stuff to. Uh, it's got cordage in here for hanging my bear bag. It's got cordage in here for tying down my tarp. It's got my stakes, things like that. It's also got my bag that I keep my um, Sawyer Mini water filter in. It's going to have my fuel in here as well. It's a little bit heavy, but that's okay. We can put it right in here at the top. 
and kind of toward the back a little bit and it'll kind of help fill some of this out. Then I've got my food bag. All of my food is in here. My freeze dried stuff is in here. That's going to go right in here at the top. And then lastly, I've got my jacket. If I this is, would be a jacket I'm not necessarily hiking in, but I've stopped and I I want to put on something dry or maybe at camp. I want to put this on as soon as I get through hiking, and that would go into the top right there. So this is I'm just giving you a quick overview. We'll get into details about things that I pack, you know, on another video, but this will give you an idea. If you have a brain bag, a brain bucket that goes on, it's another compartment that sits over the top of this, you can decide other things to put in there. You may want to put snacks in there. You may want to put, um, you know, sunblock or an extra hat or things like that. Maybe even your first aid kit would go in there. My first aid kit was actually in here. I normally wouldn't do that. I should have shown you. I would normally take my first aid kit out and I would stick it in here on, the, on this mesh. What I will put in this mesh are things like, this is my cooking uh, steeping bag. It's very, very light. I would throw that in here. Um, I would normally put something like an um, uh, emergency blanket, a bivy. I would throw that in here. Anything else I might want. If, that, if I know it's not going to rain, uh, I might throw an extra shirt or a uh, maybe a light jacket or a vest in here. Uh, whatever I think I might want to just pull out and get to. I might throw some of my snacks in there, maybe a map I'm going to look at when I stop or whatever. Put that kind of thing here. Um, as I get to hiking, maybe my shirt gets real sweaty. I might throw that sweaty shirt in here or hook it over the back of this so that it can dry. But that's, that's what I'm going to put in things like this. Now I'm going to tie off. This, this strap here to help sense down my bag and then normally I hike with a spot tracker. This is a GPS tracker. I would turn that on and I would just clip it on the back of this. Sometimes I'll stuff it in there just make sure it can see the outside world and it's good to go. In my side pocket I'm going to put my cook kit. It's going to go on this side right here. Sometimes I put my cook kit on the inside if I need extra space for some extra water. I'll put a water bottle right here. I'll put a water bottle on this side as well. And then in my front pockets I've got my lighter. I always carry a little tripod because I'm always filming something. Maybe I want to get a perspective shot or something like that. In this side I'll usually put, I've got some bear in here, some aspirin. Uh, I've got well, that's the other lighter I was looking for earlier. I'll keep a striker, some matches maybe. Uh, I will also throw in batteries, extra batteries for my camera that I'm carrying. Um, things like that. I also have a uh, selfie, a big big selfie stick. It's, it's more, uh, it's a floating one so you can use it kayaking and if you toss it in the water to float, that type of thing. I will, sometimes I will have that here on the side standing up. But basically this is going to be my pack. I just don't have the water in here. This is exactly what I'm going to pack and how I'm going to pack when I go. Now, things will change when I use winter stuff or when I use a tent. Um, for instance, my winter bag is going to take up a lot more room. I'm going to have a lot less room for some of this other stuff. So some of that stuff may have to spill out. Some stuff may have to go in the mesh. Some stuff may have to go on the side. Um, I may have to make a little extra room for stuff. I may have to, I may have to put something underneath here and, and just strap it to the top. Um, this, this ULA Ohm, I find when you uh, really start to look at winter stuff, it starts pushing the limits for me personally of how much it can carry. But it still does a pretty good job. My winter bag is a 15 degree synthetic. That's going to change. I'm probably going to go with an um, overquilt. A top quilt uh, because it will compress more. Down's always going to compress more. Synthetic's not. But synthetic's going to still be able to insulate you if it gets wet. So there are trade-offs and we can talk about that some other time. If I was doing a tent, what I would do is I would have my tent inside the bag up against my back. If it, provided it's all going to fit. Now I would take my trekking poles out. I mean not my trekking poles. <laughs> I will take my uh, tent poles out if I was doing this and 
they would be packed differently. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to pack this tent if you were taking a tent instead of a hammock. Okay, same gear, except I'm not going to need my tarp. I'm not going to need my hammock. I'm not going to need my straps for my hammock. So I've got my sleeping bag in there. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my tent and I'm going to put it right in on top of my sleeping bag. But it's going to go against my back. Now there are different ways you can do this. You can just take the tent out and put it in just like your sleeping bag. Just put it in there loose. A lot of people do that. Then I'm going to take my clothes just like before. I'm going to stuff them in front of that tent. I'm going to take my toiletries thing and stuff it down one side. I'm going to find anything else that I, my sleeping pad can go down on this other side here, filling in those gaps left um, by having that tent in there. Because that tent is going to have to be centered in order to be right up against your back. So you want to make sure it's good and centered when you do this. There may be other ways you want to do it. You may want to put your tent in something like this and just lay it across the top. You could do that if you wanted to. Um, you could latch it to the bottom if you wanted to somehow. There's different things you could do. You could put it in this mess. I wouldn't recommend it. But, you know, your mileage may vary. I'm going to put in my utility bag now. I'm going to put in my food. This food bag is very bulky. If you're only going overnight, you could get by with just a small bag for your food. I'm going to put my jacket up there. And I'm going to cinch all that down. Nice and tight. I'm going to put uh, my cook kit. Um, my cook kit actually could have gone inside. In fact, I probably would given that uh, I'm going to need the room. But you could put it in here on the side if you wanted to just for this purposes of this video, but you could also put it down inside because you can see I've got some room in there still, um, just a little bit of room. So I might take my cook kit and actually put it on the inside, but uh, this will give you some ideas. Then what I will do is I will take one side or the other and I will use these latchings here, loosen them up a little bit. I keep mine kind of tied off because I like to I have to keep things cinched up nice and tight around my pack. This pack doesn't have, you know, really good compression straps per se. This is the primary compression strap up here. But if you loosen this up, you can take your tent poles and just run them down the side of your pack like this. Make sure they don't hang on anything on their way down. But you put those down the side and just run them all the way down into that pocket right there. And they'll ride just fine. You still have room for a water bottle here. You still have room for, you know, a small water bottle here. So that's usually all I hike with are two bottles. I don't hike unless I know I'm going to be somewhere where I need much more. Usually two bottles because you can get them short or tall, 20, 24, whatever. So that's what I would do if I had a tent. Now keep in mind, as I said, a synthetic bag, uh, a colder degree bag, this is a 45 degree uh, sleeping bag in here. If I was using a 20, I would be losing some of this. I'd have to take some of these things out and find places to put them. Maybe use, utilize this mesh a little bit more. Um, maybe uh, anything else that I have in there that I can consolidate. I'd want to consolidate. But the biggest thing here again is I've got heavy stuff. That tent's kind of heavy. It's up against my back. I got clothes in this back half because it's like sleeping bag in the bottom. And then I've got the the rest of my utility bags, different things that I'm carrying just all around. Finishing out with my jacket or anything I might have to get at, like a rain jacket or a poncho. Stuff it up here on the top. Starts raining, you can take your pack off real quick, get that out, cover yourself up. I have a rain pack that covers my pack that's in here as well, but I'm probably going to move to a poncho situation just because 
It'll keep me dry and it'll just roll over and just cover right off my back and cover all this. That's something I'm going to be looking at. But a lot of folks swear by it and uh, I think I may give that a try. But uh, yeah, that's how you pack your pack. I mean, you know, you, you, you keep the basic principles in mind. You know, you want the heavy stuff, light, stuff that you're going to need soon, stuff that you're not going to need soon. And that sleeping bag at the bottom was one of the tricks I picked up from several different hikers on YouTube and uh, it works really well. So hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching.